Hi boys and girls and welcome to Bucket's Farm. My name is Farmer Hannah and I'm one of the few farmers on the farm at the moment looking after the animals whilst everyone else is at home. Now I know it must be strange being at home and not at school but we have spoken to your teachers and we know what topics you will all be covering over the next few weeks and we've put together some fun videos to teach you about the animals and the exciting things that go on at Bucket's Farm. So stay tuned plenty of fun and exciting videos still to come. Today we're going to learn about life cycles. What is a life cycle? Now animals as well as humans start life as a small baby. As they grow they get bigger and taller and stronger and then they become adults and then they stop growing but they might have babies of their own and those babies then get bigger and taller and stronger. That is a life cycle. And today we thought we'd talk about one in particular life cycle, a chicken. So here at Bockett's Farm, we have lots of chickens and other birds too. But do you know what those birds lay? Eggs, absolutely. And we've got a good display here of all the different types of eggs that we might find at Bockett's Farm. Should we take a look? Let's start with the biggest. Now up here, this is one of our goose eggs. Can you see how big it is? And all the eggs are different sizes and different colours. The goose egg is a nice big white egg. One of the smallest eggs we have on the farm comes from this tiny little nest here. And this belongs to one of our little zebra finches. Have you ever met one of our zebra finches? They're so small. And then, this is the sort of egg you might be used to seeing a lot. And this is our chicken eggs. Now we've got over 50 chickens at the farm and they each lay an egg every day. One egg every day. That's a lot of eggs. Here are some of the eggs that we got this morning. Now you might be wondering, if we go back to the life cycle, how you get a chicken from an egg? Shall we go and find out? Hey, now boys and girls, we've come into Little Hoppington Village to meet some of our smaller animals, including our lovely cockerel here. But we have something very special to show you. If we just have a look in this direction, we have Biscoff, one of our Sarama hens, and she is sat on her clutch of eggs. So underneath her, there are about six eggs, and inside them are the little chicks growing nice and strong. Now something that Biscoff is doing, which is very important, is incubating those eggs. Now what is incubation? Incubation is the period of time when the hen sits on her eggs and keeps them nice and warm and she turns them. And she does that for 21 days. So she incubates her eggs for 21 days. But then what happens? So after 21 days, or three weeks, the chick inside that egg is ready to hatch. And it's pretty incredible how they come out of that egg. They use something called an egg tooth, which is on the end of their beak, and they pick their way through the shell and out into the world. Now, do you guys want to meet a little chick that hatched a couple of days ago? I thought so. Should we go and find one? So I didn't just find one chick. I found three cute chicks. Take a look. Now these little chicks hatched a few days ago. Take a, here we go. We've got one little yellow chick and two little black chicks and they're gonna grow up to be much bigger and much stronger than they are now. Can you see that their adult feathers are starting to come through? Now they're very fluffy at the moment and that's called down, but they're gonna start growing and they're gonna grow very quickly. So boys and girls, why don't you have a go at drawing the life cycle of a chicken at home? Starting with your egg, then you can draw a chick, and then have a go at drawing a chicken. And if you want to share them with us, because I'd love to see them, ask your grown-ups to pop them on Facebook or Instagram and to tag us at Bockett's Farm. Well, I think, boys and girls, that's it from me today and these little chicks. I hope you've enjoyed learning about the life cycle of a chicken, but I've got to get back to feeding the animals. I've got some hungry mouths waiting for me. Now, stay tuned for some more videos, but for now, that's everything. Bye.